everyone, this is Mahjabeen Baloch from Pakistan and you are watching my YouTube channel Insani Itihad. And this video is a reply video uh, to one of uh, my very regular <laughs> commenter, um, Brother Hayech, Hayech or Hayech, Hayech, I don't know what's this. Okay, so this guy. And also, this, the, in the same video, uh, under the same video that uh, Mr. Hayech, Hayech has commented, I have his comments over here can't see that but yeah in, in a different phone I had to um, get a screenshot and reply to the, the um, issues that he addressed I replied to the first one the Sufarim 15 uh, even the best of the goem should uh, all be killed so the comment the, the reply to this line was uh, posted on the comment and there is a strange thing in my videos I have noticed uh, for quite some time that there are, there are um, comments that I see the number of comments that I see like for for example in this on this video where I will put this the link of this video and of course I upload this uh, this this video on my channel as well. I don't seem to get uh, or I don't seem to see the comments that people uh, you know post on my videos so there are 13 uh, comments the number of comments in in that video are 13 one three and I can only see like two comments of Mr. Hayach Hayach and um, not the other 11 so I don't know what's the issue. If anyone knows, please comment and let me know what to uh, do and how to see. Maybe their their comments are uh, abusive, so that's why the Facebook has um, kind of hidden them, or I don't know. But I can't see them. So I'm gonna start with this um, this comment, and in this comment, he said that Yibha um, Mus. I don't know what that is. 98a i don't know it's um i don't know what that is because i know what sanhedrin is i know what is sepharim i don't know what what this um uh, I, I don't know i haven't heard of it so it says all children of goyim all children of goyim are animals now um i do have to check or please explain what's the con context of um of, of this line all children of goem are animals so children of goem means like little children because all the little children like you know the, the toddlers and all they um, don't necessarily eat uh, non-kosher food and they are like i mean ch children of all, everyone are innocent um as long as they are you know of par mitzvah or bat mitzvah age so they are, I mean, technically you can't consider them like, you know, you know, inherently evil. Yeah, I mean, that's what I believe. But then again, of course, you know, it, it's uh, um, in the Jewish tradition, whatever the parents would feed them would add up to their, you know, um, their, would strengthen their goodness or if they eat, non-kosher food, bad food, it will actually strengthen their evil inclination and therefore they would be animalistic. So in this context, I think they, they are saying that like all children of Israel should eat kosher food. So all children, of, meaning all adults of Israel. Uh, so in this, all children of Goim, meaning all adults of Goim are animals. Now, why does um, the Jew Jewish text actually refer to the uh, goyim or, or the Gentiles or non-Jews as animals? Is because of the eating habits, the way they eat. Um, you know, the, the Judaism provide, has provided, we need to understand that the Jewish tradition and, you know, Abraham... Uh, he originated from this place which was very, very evil and there was no humanity in it and people literally acted like animals. They would cut off the limbs of living animals. They would not slaughter them. So, uh, you know, you're cutting off the limb of a, of a living animal would actually put a lot of 
pain and it's a brutal thing it's an animalistic thing lions and these these um you know these carnu carnuing carnuing <laughs> the i mean the, in in the, in the times of noah all the, the righteous humans were herbivores they were not carnivores so the, you know the, these uh, the way these um, people acted the non jews i mean abraham and abrahamic religion starting with judaism sort of brings this morality and this consciousness of humanity that you know even if for the survival we have to use food we need to have a conscious um pers- perspective on not just food but our lifestyle like for example sodom and gomorrah happened in the times of uh, abraham i mean th- their attitude towards sexuality was was animalistic i mean just like animals they they i mean they, they irrespective of i mean they don't see if uh i mean they, there is no differentiation or disgust of incest or or I mean, all sorts of there is no order so in that context they think all children of goyim are animals in that context in that era where you know there was no morality and and you can see that i mean um Hera, the goddess Hera of the Greek, uh, you know, mythology, was a sister of uh, Zeus, and you know the 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 incest, the the brutality, the everything was just so um so brutal. So in that context, it it's saying that all children goem are animals. To 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 stress on the point that the jewish values and the jewish mitzvot actually bring about decency in humanity and you elevate from your animal soul to a human and divine soul a godly soul now saint hadrian 54b that was actually um now this was this reminded me of the prophet muhammad's uh, um the 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 only youngest and unmarried virgin wife that he had uh bibi aisha so it says a jew may have sex with a child as long as the child is less than 9 years old so she was 9 also but anyway anyway so okay now in this context um i think in my opinion i think it's 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 like one of those uh you know anecdotes or 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 khutspas that you know um Okay so a Jew is allowed to have um intimacy or intercourse only with a Jewish woman so because you know if they produce a child out of that intercourse that child has to be Jewish so a uh, um Jewish man has to have intimacy only with a Jewish woman he he can only marry a Jewish woman because the you know the woman has Uh, the jewish woman would uh, trans- transmit the um maternal uh, you know identity which is you know would decide the child is actually jewish so what if somebody would have okay sanhedrin is somebody who is the sanhedrin would be somebody when the beit hamikdash was uh, still existing in jerusalem um like a not kohen uh, gadol but someone who would judge like a rabbi who is an expert and uh, he he would judge and decide if somebody would just put a question uh, to him uh, or 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 a group of judges who are expert in halakha and can determine or give a verdict to a jew who wants to um who wants an opinion uh, a halakha opinion a jewish opinion so this line could have been somebody asking can i have sex with a non uh, jewish woman a gentile woman and he's like okay i'm not going to marry her but if what if she's like a prostitute can i have sex with her so in that context probably the sanhedrin would have said yes you can have sex with a non gentile woman as long as she is not uh, or she is um she is she is in the age of not producing a child so that there is no dilemma 
that that child of that you know intercourse or whatever is uh, is not a Jew because if if for example hypothetically speaking if there is uh, a Jewish woman and she is well she is prostitute for a I don't know for some reason actually there is a tradition of of uh, Tamar uh, disguising as a prostitute and she slept with uh, Yehuda who was actually his um, his father-in-law so um, Judah actually had three sons and two of his sons died marrying this one woman named Tamar and then because his youngest he was left with his youngest son and he was too young to marry her um he just um he's he refused to you know to give her her third son his his third his his third son but tamar was very determined that she would have uh, the uh, she would have a baby from um judah's um family and she was very determined so she disguised uh, as a prostitute and she seduced uh, yehuda and she conceived a son so um yeah in, i mean that in in that case the the child and and this is before matan torah before giving of torah or before giving of the halakha technically before the uh, halakha law so in that context we can't really say that that was an illegitimate i mean there is the word illegitimate child even if a child is produced out of wedlock illegitimate is not the right word but yeah i mean sort of uh, uh, you know we use that pastor word or something so anyway uh, in that context that you know tamar's a uh, child would be jewish so in this line when you when the sanhedrin saying that if a uh, uh, a woman is less than 9 years old he is just indicating that if if you really 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 want to have sex with a non gentile woman she shouldn't be of the age of puberty so there is no ch- child involved after having so you literally it's it's like a khutbah saying you can't have sex with a non gentile woman like in any condition unless it's like a, a a minor a real minor and you're absolutely sure that you will not have any of your ox of springs from this uh woman or this girl sorry or this child so um in that case but um however it's it's i mean the whole concept you know the way the sanhedrin would say that it it the, the, a sensible jewish man would say okay this means that he doesn't want me to have anything to do with the gentile woman so it it's like that you can't have it literally you can't have sex with a minor so obviously you can't have a sex with a gentile woman plus the any point so this is and and the other point that he raised is uh okay baba kama i don't know what that is also baba it seems like more like you know the arabic something baba ganoush <laughs> okay so this is baba kama I would ask my rabbi about this. Do you have Baba Ganoush and Baba Gama? I know. <laughs> so this is Baba Kama, uh, one one hundred thirteen A, and it says Jews may use lies to circumvent a circumvent a goy gentile, and then he says I find this one funny. Actually, I don't understand this. to be very as a jew has to lie and then circumvent a guy i mean if you're saying uh, in the context of what simon and levi did to the people who raped their their sister by tricking her because you know their woman invited um invited dina who was the sister of simon and uh, and levi and was the daughter of lia and uh yakub so they they invited her for a dance and singing party and then this guy who is the uh, son of the leader of that uh, thing that the, the, the uh, gentile people 
and this yeah i mean this lonely way i mean she was feeling lonely and she said okay fine i don't i have my the two mums um my mom and my stepmom and the the, the 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 environment in the house is not very fun and there i have all lots of brothers here and what am i going to do i'm going to just going to go to these gentle women and have a good time sing dance and then just come back and guess what she gets raped and uh, then you know the the guy actually not raped her and then she he actually falls in love with her and then he comes for a proposal and say oh yeah right i'm going to tell you. i probably it was dina's plan this you know moron go ahead my brother trick him trick his entire tribe they tricked me you tricked the men of this whole tribe and killed them so they asked them to you know circumcise themselves and then kill them so i i don't know i i don't know if it's in that context i i don't know it doesn't make sense to me so yeah and i mean um um okay so so arabs became out for, okay arabs let go of their adultery and became muslim and they circumcised because because of the because ibrahim circumcised himself and abraham also circumcised ishmael so um i don't know before before the advent of islam because you know ashma ishmael was circumcised so if there was a tradition of circumcising men even before islam i uh, i think it was uh because of ishmaelites were you know that was a tradition and also egyptian uh, people also circumcised uh but there was female genital mutilation i don't know if there was any asian uh, male circumcision in the african regions and particularly in egypt but there was since asian times there was female circumcision female genital mutilation in egypt as well as in some parts of africa so the last point was a uh, baba again baba so baba mizia mizia baba mizia 24a it says if a jew finds an object lost by a gentile it does not have to be returned now this now this is um well this is very clear because um this could be in the context of jews being persecuted in terms of whatever property they owned like legally and everything and uh, the other 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 nations whether they were like you know greeks romans or whatever whatever those uh those nations actually you know seize the properties and and whatever from the jews so probably the the commandment is not to steal but if somebody finds something and he or she is not sure that to whom it belongs or sometimes it it can be known that this belongs to somebody who is a gentile and given the fact that jews have been persecuted by non jews a lot rabbis could have just said that okay since they are irrespective of stealing from us our things that we have made from our sweat and blood and you know it, it it's the persecution mentality uh, if you see i mean i don't go look i mean this this could be ancient thing but let's just say let's just see very recently what happened to jews in in um, in europe and in germany when germany and germans confiscated all the properties and valuable things of the jewish people and put them into ghettos and if somebody finds a, a valuable thing of a gentile in a ghetto where you know they don't have food and anything and 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 they they're merely barely surviving you expect those people to pick that thing from from a ghetto and return it to the uh, nazis who are trying to kill them i don't think so i won't do that <laughs> yeah
And I wish I would find a Nazi gun and then just start killing some Nazis. Yeah, so, and the last point is, now tell me how that is kosher in Sunday. I, th I think it's, a, you know, you need to understand things. It's, it's very difficult. I mean, like, like this whole point of, you know, all children of Goim are animals. Again, it, it, I mean, when you say this, it's like, okay, they think that all the children are, you know, uh, animal and that they have this, this much hate. What do you see? Did, they, uh, did you say, we're the children of God, we're the children of Israel? So they are talking, they are not talking about literal children, they are talking about the descendants, the adults grown up. And it's a fact, I mean, if I, I have read history and felt disgusted and then I just, what, it's, it's just, just like I started reading uh, the books of U.L. Harari and then I said, oh, what the fuck am I reading? And then, <laughs> and I, I mean, I can't do this to my system, I can't do this to my thought process, I can't get all this cramp into my system i mean i have to have decent children i mean yeah i mean i i i i would bazarat hashem would find a suitable jewish match and become a mother one day i can't get all this negativity into my system because it will transfer i mean somehow that that will also be part of my children so i i don't do that but you know i have read ancient history where you know romans if they won and there was this i think it was greeks not romans or maybe a, yeah either of the two so it was like that you know if they would find uh, young men looking really they're i mean their features are very beautiful and they're they're looking very cute and nice the men the older men would just pick up these lads um you know those those uh, chitans or ch those uh, great warriors who are like so built up and masculine and big and whatever whatever what they do is that they would pick up these young lads they they would literally chop their testicles chop their testicles i've not even i've read this i should i i should actually go back to the storeroom and <laughs> check for all those crazy books and actually i will not do that <laughs> i would not no so there is i i will look for it and then probably put it in in the link if somebody wants but you go check it, it is there it's i'm not making this things up i mean i'm not crazy I, <laughs> people think that i'm satanic or delusional but go read that in the european history and then i was preparing for actually i was preparing for my css exam so there is this competitive exams in uh, our country to you know uh, to pass that exam you have to you know read a lot of history american history european history and then you get uh, when you pass this exam then you get inducted into the government service and possibility is that if you have enough sufficient knowledge of history like european history islamic history or you know american history or whatever whatever you you get to work in the foreign office and everything but i failed i miserably failed in the islamic studies subject and i passed all others yeah i yeah i did, did uh, miserably fail that and uh, i think there was islamiyat and there was one other subject which i don't uh, actually remember anyway so i studied in that time it's a long time i'm not that old <laughs> Like I said, it was it was a long time ago, but uh, not that not that long. So in in that uh, in in uh, in that time, I studied that you know these uh, these people would pick these lads up, chop off their testicles, and use them for sex. So they have like women and the prostitutes and whatever, concubines and whatever. And then these Greeks and Romans have been conquering and colonizing other parts. So they were <laughs> not getting enough of that. Uh, and then they started with the, the, the young boys also who were like really good looking or they would have feminine features or whatever. So I mean that was the thing. So that the, I mean this is an animalistic attribute it's not like a very good attribute to you know celebrate and all that i mean even 
even between you know how rivika discriminated her own son isa because he behaved like you know animalistically i mean he would just pick up random girls he would just he would, he would, reckless kind of a person uh, and yeah he she was into this uh, yakov who is like more uh, you know more humble he respects his mother he has a good relationship with his mother and he values the value of his grandfather and his um, his father and, and so you know in that context don't just say that please use your head i mean it's it's i mean hating jews is very tempting but i mean don't just do it out of uh, just because you have to do it so just see things in that light i mean judaism and jewish people are the only flag bearers of morality in the ancient world if you truly understand the i mean if you read you spend some time and and to be honest if you study the islamic theology and the christian theology you will realize that it's a bullshit both of them are bullshit. i mean i have studied it then i have come to this conclusion don't worry about me hi at hi at brother i am actually very very happy being in 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 this whole journey of you know transforming myself into and converting myself into um judaism uh, finally i have become a human finally i have become a woman and i love it so <laughs> i don't know what references you would put on there is nothing you can do there is nothing no one can know i'm happy <laughs> so yeah this is my i actually was thinking to upload this really amazing video that i made uh, i think two weeks ago about uh, uh, everyone's favorite uh, family the rothschild family but i guess i would upload it tomorrow since these uh, question came up and please tell me how the hell i can't see the comments on my own video <laughs> can i if anyone has any idea please let me know thank you thank you thank you ayat ayat brother take care chill pal man chill